Hello, my friend. This is Pastor Marcus Studmeyer, Outport Church, Cleveland, Ohio. This session is designed to set the captives free. This session is designed to loose you from the spirits that are causing sexual perversion. In Jesus name, we are going to pull up from the root, the very thing that's causing you to have sexual struggles in every area of your life. Are you ready? I am. I want you to touch and agree with me as I touch and agree with you. Where two or three are gathered together, Jesus is in the midst and he is willing and able to deliver you through the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name. Let's go forward. Father, we thank you for your saving power. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, that you have saved us in Jesus name. We thank you, Father, for dying on that cross and shedding your blood. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you have saved us, sanctified us and filled us with your Holy Spirit. And Lord, and that you will raise us up in the last days to reign forever with you in Jesus name. Father, we forgive those who have wrongfully mistreated us, who have wrongfully mishandled our emotions, who have wrongfully caused traumatic experience or caused any open doors that will allow evil spirits to infiltrate in the name of Jesus. Lord, we forgive our forefathers. We forgive all those in our lineage, oh God, that was before us that have done sins. Lord, we ask for forgiveness for them in Jesus name. Father, we thank you, Lord, that their sins are forgiven and our sins are forgiven in Jesus name, Lord. And as we move forward, we decree and declare that we do not walk in any unforgiveness in Jesus name towards anyone, anybody that has impacted our lives, impacted our situation in Jesus mighty name. We bless them in Jesus name even those that are not living we bless them anyway in Jesus name and now in the name of Jesus we abandon all sexual impurities all sexual sin that we have been involved with in our past in the name of Jesus including fornication pornography fantasy lust adultery perversion in any form, shape, or fashion, in Jesus' name. We abandon and renounce masturbation in the name of Jesus. We break all curses of adultery, all curses of incest, all curses of rape, all curse of promiscuity, all curses of illegitimacy, all curses of molestation, all curses of lust, all curses of polygamy in the name of Jesus. We charge and command all spirits of perversion to come out of our physical body parts, come out of our genitals, come out of our mind, come out of our hands, come out of our bloodline, come out of our blood, come out of our heart, come out of our tongue, come out of our mouths, come out of our stomach in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we are free from the spirits of lust. We thank you, Lord, that we are free in the name of Jesus. We renounce lust. We renounce fantasy lust. We abandon masturbation. We abandon homosexuality. We abandon lesbianism in the name of Jesus. We reject the right of adultery. We reject fornication. We repudiate incest. We repudiate promiscuity. We reject rape. We abandon exposure. We abandon frigidity in the name of Jesus. No weapon for formed against this man of God, against this woman of God shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Lust, you have been abandoned. There is no more claim. There is no more right. We abandon that in the name of Jesus. No longer will you have a stronghold. No longer your power is non and void in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
hallelujah, we abandon all sexual impurity in the name of Jesus. Lust, fantasy lust, masturbation, homosexuality, lesbianism, incest, fornication, adultery, harlotry, promiscuity, exposure, frigidity, rape. You have no more open door. The doors have been closed. You have no more right. You have no more claim because you have been renounced in the name of Jesus. You have no more right through unforgiveness. You have no more right through molestation. You have no more right through generational ancestral curses in the name of Jesus. It's been shut off. It's been cut off. The blood supply to you has been shut down. It's been cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we present our bodies as a living sacrifice to the most high God, Jesus Christ, according to Romans 12 and 1. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we thank you, Lord, as we offer ourselves as that living sacrifice and we decree and declare that we are forgiven of all those sexual sins. We are forgiven of masturbation. We are forgiven of adultery. We are forgiven of of fornication, we are forgiven of rape, we are forgiven of molestation, we are forgiven of holotry, we are forgiven of poly polygamy, we are forgiven of all sexual sins in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are forgiven of lesbianism, we are forgiven of homosexuality, we are forgiven of bestiality in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. Our members are now members of you, God. Our members are now members of Christ and we will not let them be members of any sexual sin in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that their members are no longer members of the devil's uh, camp in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that their members are no longer members of fornication, no longer members of masturbation, no longer members of pornography, no no longer members of perversion or homosexuality or lesbianism or adultery in the name of Jesus. No longer, no longer, no longer, no longer, and no longer in Jesus Christ, but only members of Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. We release the fire of God to burn out all unclean spirits that are lodging in their bodies, that are lodging in their soul, their mind, their will, their emotions that are lodging in their physical flesh. In the name of Jesus, we burn out unclean spirits in their lives right now. In the name of Jesus, we release the fire of God upon them right now. Holy Ghost fire be upon them right now. In the name of Jesus, Holy Holy Ghost fire right now, right now. Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Ghost fire upon them from the head to the toes of their feet. Holy Ghost fire all over their body right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire right now. Fire of the Holy Spirit right now all over your body right now in the name of Jesus. We break all ungodly soul ties with former lovers and sexual partners in the name of Jesus. We disassemble all ungodly soul ties with former lovers and sexual partners in the name of Jesus. We uproot all ungodly soul ties with former lovers and sexual partners in the name of Jesus. And we cast out all spirits of loneliness that will be an open door that will allow those spirits to come back and lodge within themselves in Jesus' name. We break all ungodly sexual relationships, all unhealthy relationships that is presently working in their lives right now in the name of Jesus. You have no more root. You have no power. You have no strength. You are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Right now in the name. You are destroyed in the name of Jesus. We command all spirits of witchcraft and sorcery that is at work with lust to 
have dominion over their lives in the name of Jesus. Come on out, witchcraft. I speak to you right now. Come on out, sorcery spirit. I speak to you right now. Come on out. Come out now. I command you in the name of Jesus. Lust, come out. Come on out right now in the name of Jesus. Loose them and let them go right now. I uproot you right now according to Jeremiah 1 and 10. You are uprooted right now. I uproot you. I pull you down. You are destroyed. I declare you destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. We exercise our authority over their thoughts right now in the name of Jesus. Thoughts come under subjection of the Holy Spirit and we bind all spirits of lust and fantasy lustful thinking in the name of Jesus Christ. We pull you out right now. We command you to go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We take control and authority over the spirit of homosexuality. We take control and authority over the spirit of lesbianism. In the name of Jesus, you are not more powerful than Jesus Christ. You are defeated right now. You have no power. Your power is none. You have none in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, you are trespassing upon the property of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of homosexuality. I command you right now, come out. Now in the name of Jesus, you are not more powerful than God. Come out now in the name of Jesus. You are subject to the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. I speak to lesbianism in the name of Jesus. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come on out of there right now in the name of Jesus. You have no say so. You have no right. You have no claim. In the name of Jesus, you have been abandoned to them right now in the name of Jesus. You are loose from them right now in the name of Jesus. Come out right now in the name of Jesus, you spirit of perversion. Come out right now. Oh, come on out of there now in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. I speak to spiritual spouses. I speak to the spiritual wife that is working in her. I speak to the spiritual wife that is working in him. I speak to the spiritual husband that is working in her. I speak to the spiritual husband that is working in him. I speak to all spiritual spouses and I command you to come out now in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of incubus and succubus to come out now in the name of Jesus. Loose yourself from them right now in the name of Jesus. I command you to come out now in the name of Jesus. You Moabite spirit, you Ammonite spirit of lust, I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, that they are free from spiritual spouses, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your authority. I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Father, for your compassion and your mercy, Lord, which endures forever. In the name of Jesus, I command all spirits that are causing marriages to break up. Pornography, I command you, come out now in the name of Jesus I command the spirit of lust to come out now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I thank you Lord that your Holy Ghost fire is burning up those spirits and that they can't stand the holy fire of God in the name of Jesus I command all you spirits of hereditary issues hereditary lust from their ancestors to come out now in the name of Jesus hallelujah I command command you right now. Come on out spirits of hereditary lust. Come on out spirits of witchcraft. Come on out spirits of sorcery. Come on out spirits of pornography in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Come on out fornication. Come on out incest. Come out now in the name of Jesus. I command you all, you unclean spirits, you evil spirits come out now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that their bodies have been presented to the Lord Lord as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable in the sight. In the name of Jesus, I release right now the power of the Holy Ghost upon them right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they are they are free right now. They are free. I decree freedom 
over you right now. I decree freedom over you, brother. I decree freedom over you, sister. I decree freedom over you right now. I bind in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the world and the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. All those doors that are openings for spirits to enter in, they are now closed now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare to you that you have overcome the world through the power of the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit is now keeping you in all your ways right now in the name of Jesus according to 1 John 2 and 16 that you are crucified with Christ in Jesus Christ's name hallelujah I believe that you have received this word in the name of Jesus hallelujah and that the word will not return back to Jesus Christ void but it shall accomplish that which Jesus Jesus decrees and declares hallelujah and I thank you father that you have given them authority over their thoughts in the name of Jesus that you have given them authority to bind up all spirits that are trying to hang around in the name of Jesus masturbation you can't stay pornography you can't stay perversion you can't stay adultery you can't stay in the name of Jesus you have been broken you have been destroyed no weapon formed against them shall prosper and I break your strongholds right now in Jesus name hallelujah I break you right now in Jesus name Holy Ghost fire right now all over your body Holy Ghost fire right now in Jesus mighty name homosexual spirit lesbian spirit inordinate affections towards others outside of what God has ordained we rebuke you now in the name of Jesus we bind you right now in the name of Jesus. You have no more right to their bodies. You have no more right to their soul. You have no more right right now to any members that belong to Christ in them. In Jesus mighty name, we thank you. Father, we now release the holiness of God into their lives to walk in sexual purity in Jesus mighty name. No longer man, no longer brother, will you like another man. No longer sister will you like another woman in the name of Jesus you will no longer have desires for the same sex you will no longer walk in unrighteousness you will no longer walk in defilement but you will walk right now in all manners in holiness and uprightness and in sexual purity in the name of Jesus Christ according to Romans 1 and 4 in Jesus name you are crucified I prophesy you are crucified with Christ in the name of Jesus according to Romans 6 to 12 you are crucified with Christ and your members have been mortified and you do not let sin reign in your life you do not let sin reign in your body you do not let sin reign in your heart but you my man you my sister you my brother you my woman of God are now walking in the obedience of Christ you do do not obey the lust of the flesh. You do not obey the lust of the world, the fantasy of the world, but you are now obeying the word of God in Jesus name. Be filled with power. Be filled with with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with love. Be filled with the agape love of God. Be filled with boldness, Holy Spirit boldness. Be filled with compassion. Be filled with mercy. Be filled with gentleness. Now, in the name of Jesus, be filled with righteousness. Be filled with uprightness. Be filled with your new identity. Be filled with the power of God. Be filled in the name of Jesus. Be filled right now. Be filled right now. Be filled right now. Be filled right now. Be filled with humbleness in the name of Jesus. Be filled right now. Be filled right now. Hallelujah. Be filled right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that they are filled with you. They are filled with you, Lord. In all those areas, oh God, where spirits have left, they are now filled with the Holy Spirit. They are not 
filled with the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name. Be filled with the grace of God, the power to live right. Be filled in the name of Jesus. Be filled, be filled, be filled, be filled, be filled in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that they are filled with your power and Lord, and that they are renewed in life. They have a sound heart in life. They now have the power to live right, right now in the name of Jesus, and that no weapon formed against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that your fire is like shut up now in their bones. It's shut up now in their bones right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your spirit has taken root in those areas, go God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, bitterness can't reign, unforgiveness can't reign, we thank you, Lord, that your love is reigning right now in Jesus' name, now, my friend, walk in God's power, walk in holiness, you can walk in holiness, you are walking in holiness, I decree it right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree the whole armor of God upon your life right now. You are walking by faith in the name of Jesus. I decree. I release that. I release that right now in the name of Jesus. I release the mandate that God has on your life. I release all of the plans that God has on your life to come to pass. I release it. No, the enemy's plans have been destroyed. You are an ambassador of Jesus Christ. You are released into the kingdom to do great exploits. I release it right now in the name of Jesus. The love of God comes out of your mouth. The love of God comes out of all your body. The love of God permeates from you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Right now, right now, right now, you are released to go forward in Jesus' name. Walk in holiness. Walk in holiness, walk in holiness, walk in uprightness, walk in purity in the name of Jesus, walk in your sexual purity right now in the name of Jesus. You do have the power to say no. You do now have the power to say no in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that they are walking in the newness of you right now in Jesus name. We thank you, Lord, for doing it. We thank you, Lord, that they are free. Free, freedom is now in their life. Freedom now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for freedom in Jesus name. Now, my friend, what I want you to do is whenever you feel like you feel weak, I want you to pull this message back out. I want you to pull this session back out and I want you to play it over and over and over and over again. Play it while you're sleeping at night. Play it when you wake up in the morning. Play it before you go to bed. Play it while you're on your way to work. Play it. Put it in your phone. Put your headphones on. While you're on the bus, while you're on the rapid, while you're on the train, while you're commuting somewhere. Play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Let the enemy know that you are not fooling around. In Jesus' name, let the enemy know and the kingdom of darkness know that you are walking in the power of the Holy Ghost. You are walking in dunamis power of the Holy Ghost. Just play it, play it, play it, and play it. Hallelujah. And also incorporate fasting in your new walk. Fasting, according to the scripture, causes spirits to leave that will not normally leave with just prayer alone. I don't care how much you speak in tongues. I don't care how much you read your word. These kind won't go out but by prayer and fasting. When you read that scripture in its context, it's telling you that some mountains will not move unless you incorporate fasting. Turn over a meal. Turn over a couple meals. Turn over a whole day. Give God a day. Give God a meal. Give God something. 
fast. It helps. Okay, my friend. God bless you. I decree and declare that you are free. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. 